Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part th 3 of Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. So, we have the first level, Jungle Rumble. We have she or Seashell Shenanigans, Bonsai Bonsai, That Sinking Feeling, or H2O No. So I guess we'll go to Jungle Rumble. So this is the water world. And I changed the audio a bit on this game because I did find it a little loud. Crash Bandicoot! You've got some nerve setting foot into my domain without an invitation. Don't talk back to me! I'll fix that attitude problem of yours! Um, Crash doesn't even talk. I don't know what you're going on about there. What, what's your name? Wawa? Wawa? Yeah, for a, a, a U.S. military general, dude, you, you, you have such a lame name. Oh yeah, and if you hold down L2, you now have this ability! Yay, super fun, and 150 crates. Oh no, look out, a little en enemy. Boom, 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 boom. And half these enemies aren't even in the way, they're just like here, and it's kind of funny that they're like that. Oh, looks like we got Nitro. Now hopefully we don't have any stupid slopes like in the first episode that kind of like screwed us over. Because that was just not fun. Wait, how do I... Why wasn't it working? Maybe it's just the button on this controller. Because I'm still using the better controller that I've been using for the, uh... The Spyro Let's Play, and yeah, it's just... Hey, Aku Aku! Double spear enemies, yay! The monkey sound effects, those are ridiculous. Alright, I know I can get up there somehow. Aha! I did it. Now, there's a sneaky little spot right here where this box doesn't look like you'd be able to break it, you know? Let's continue up the river. This level is pretty cool. Oh, hang on a second. Let me just get that out of the way. Alright, let's continue on. Oh, what's going on over here with these guys, dude? Let's blow up all of these crates! Anything over here? I don't think so. I think it was for like a life or uh, an Aku Aku mask, not entirely sure. Yeah, it's called Jungle Rumble though because of that Jeep over there. So we do have a bonus, so we'll go and do this. And uh, yeah, then we'll go down our track. I do love the music in this level, it's so intense. Hopefully it's a lot more quiet now. I did turn it down a lot, but it still sounds really loud in my ears, so I'm not entirely sure. Also, things fit on my screen for whatever reason now. I didn't literally change anything, it just... It just fixed itself and- oh god. Oh, I thought it was gonna blow up the TNT too. Oh, goodbye to all that stuff. Oh look, we actually have to use our power-up. One of the only times in the game where we're going to use this power. So let's just do this. And then we can trigger that. And... Oh yeah, this. Yeah, if you hit the, like that, you'll be fine. Actually, it doesn't even matter. I'm doing the like high jump like that is so funny. There we go. Destroy these one and a two and a three and a four and a five and there's the last crate. Nice, we got all 49 in here. Beautiful. Oh, look at them all. We have 96 out of 150. Like I said in a previous episode, this game has a lot of gems per level. I guess you can hold down A to uh, speed up. It seems. I don't think you can jump, though. Like, that's the thing. I don't think you can, uh... You can jump, so let's just run away from all these rhinoceroses. Rhinoceri? Is it rhinoceroses or rhinoceri? By the way, they do destroy most of the crates for you. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Alright, Rhinos, let's do this again. Part 2, guys. Let's go. Let's brawl. Oh, Nitro doesn't hurt them, though. They're just like, yeah, Nitro, who cares about that? 
That's just a. Hmm. The game just did not want to let me turn. Just follow the Wumper Fruit and you should be fine. And then we hit a tree, and that's how Crash dies. No, not really. And we're only missing 13, really. And there we go! 100% outside of the uh, relic. So that worked out beautifully. Five minutes in and we're already done a full level. That's a new record. A new record, Lou. Let's see, just checking my devices while I do all this. Nothing. Alright, next level we have is a Seashell Shenanigans, an underwater level. Which are kind of tedious. I didn't check, did this level have a color gem or not? Or like a secondary gem, because there are secondary clear gems. 99, okay, this is I think the lowest amount of boxes we've had in an entire level. Huntail from Pokemon's here, what the heck is he doing here? He's just like, yo man, it's a me. Mr. Huntail. A mine? Woo! The music here is actually pretty good though. Death to that guy, because he's a loser. Now we're in this pipe. Because pipes for the wind. I took damage on a guy that I spun into. Also, those mines are like kind of cheap if you think about it, because you can't see them. So like, if you get killed by one, you know, there's a good chance that you didn't even see it at all. Oh my god, is, is that another Pokemon? Wait, which way am I going? I'm going that way, so let me go back this way. Or is there just straight up nothing over here? There's just straight up nothing over here. Sharpedo? Red Sharpedo? I bet you weren't purple, because then we could call you a shiny torpedo. Torpedo? Sharpedo. I don't really killed him instead of the box. He's like, oh yeah, man, you killed me instead. That's cool, though. Are you serious? I almost ran into it again. Okay, that one will break, so I don't really care about that one too much. I love how you can occasionally hear the nitro if you have a headset on, just like... Nitro. Alright, so I can go down there. To, to detonate those, you just have to push your nose on them. I kind of want to detonate these, though, before I get the checkpoints, so that way we don't have to do it every single time. There we go. That's better. Also, there's a flickering uh, coral piece up there. Hello, fishy guys. Wait, what? Why was there a mine in there? Game, what was that? Wait, wait, wait. So even though I got the checkpoint, that didn't count? Are you serious? It only saves progress for things before the checkpoint? That's not how the old Crash games worked. Okay, right, so we know for a fact there's gonna be a mine there. Wait, what happened? Whoa, why is it all weird now? Oh... Okay, that was trippy. I don't know what happened to the screen. Oh, well, let's try this again. For the second time, or third time now, because we died to that stupid mine last time. Or, not last time, the time before, and then we died to the jellyfish, I think. Oh, it's so weird how it does that. I really wish I could see those a little better. Aha, I seen that one this time. One Giga, finally. God, these mines are just everywhere. This isn't even seashell shenanigans. This is like mine. Whoa. I don't know what's going on here, guys. But I'm not liking that. Not at all. 
I took damage there again. I'm so paranoid because I can't see what's going on properly. Drop the bombs on them all. Oh, there was Nitro there. Ooh. How many, uh... Oh, thank God. Let's go. Wait, is there really nothing over there except for mines? What was the point of that game? Oh, I wonder how we do that. I don't even think there's a nitro switch in this, is there? Destroy everything. Ooh, one up. How many are we, uh, boxes of wrap? Oh. Interesting. How many are we gonna get after this? A ton, right? Oh yeah, there's only like 11 left. There's the crystal, I could barely see because the game went janky for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah, yo, man. At least these mines I can see. Though, you have to wait for them, which is just annoying. Death to everything, because I don't know if anything's gonna, like, appear in our face or something. Oh, we're missing two boxes, really? Don't tell me I missed two boxes. Come on, man. We did miss two boxes! Oh, well, I blame that on the fact that I couldn't see what was going on in that level. I don't know what happened. Well, let's never have that happen again, please. Alright, I'll go do that on my own time. Anyways, let's go do a Bonsai Bonsai, which is a Coco level. And Coco is just a dumbed down version of Crash. Leave my levels alone! Okay. Bossy McBosserson. Dude. So yeah, she can't double jump. She can ground pound, and she can kick, and then I believe she can... Yeah, if you press the crouch button, she under kicks. Yeah, and her level... Remember how I mentioned the uh, weird jump uh, hitboxes? Or, like, shadowing and stuff? Yeah, she's a notorious uh, specimen of the issues that this game has. All while not really making her fun to play. They literally just made her crash in this game, but not fun. And why are the edges rounded in this game? That's so bull. And there's going to be a section in this game that's going to be really, really, really difficult. I don't even know if those birds can technically hit you, can they? Oh, this one can. As for the ninjas, the best way to deal with them is just get really close to them. Alright, Mr. Enemy. Lizards and gizzards and that's still a lot. Still a lot of freaking boxes though for this level. Like 165? We only have 23? Like how do you expect us to get that many done? Also, there is some uh, major slowdown happening every now and then. Okay, so for here you actually want to step on this little step. Alright, that worked out flawlessly. Also, I thought you guys were supposed to throw ninja stars, not katanas. Okay, so we need the red gem to do it. Get this. And the red gem is actually in a water level, and it's not the water level we were in. I think it's a water level. Or am I thinking of, um... Crash 3. I might be thinking of Crash 3 and not this game. Oh, yeah. This looks nice. Yeah, and those platforms fall, like, half the platforms in this game do. Also, that enemy just seems kind of like a waste of space. Like, do they even do anything? 
Like, I don't even think they do anything. I just think they're there for the fun of it, you know? Now we want to wait for this to just be destroyed before we go to the bonus. Let's go to the bonus! I don't think Coco can use the tippy toe walk, can she? I'll have to check that out here. No, she doesn't get the tippy toe walk. So that's cool, I guess. Yay! Well, good news is, is we can still get that. It's just it's gonna get destroyed with the nitro crate. Alright, you're. Oh yeah, these fires just wait patiently for them to go down. Even though their hitbox is really weird, and they should honestly hurt you more than they do. All right, and I think the rest are just nitro crates, so we can go on. Let's see what we got. Only 76. We're not even halfway done the boxes. Which is kind of sad. Oh yeah, this part. This is where you get to like the uh, side-scrolling sections, which are kind of weird. In the sense that they... Uh... It's your shadow in this, because like, your shadow is how you see things, right? But, like, you can't tell exactly where you're supposed to be for this jump. Also, I... Whoa! Alright. Aku Aku number two. Not bad. Whoa, I can shoot right through the building. Whoa. Oh, wait! A lot of them are gonna be on the, uh... The gem path. Because I forgot. Um, this game is obsessed with... Lots of nitro on the gem path. That that explain a lot. Thank you for the one up. Oh, I thought we missed one. Do you see how it paused there? I was super concerned, but we beat that level. That one went a lot better. We had one stupid death. Other than that, it was actually a super easy level. <laughs> Get Coco out of there just to turn into Crash. Next, we got that sinking feeling, which is, in my opinion, the worst of these, like, crash, uh, destroy the machine craft type levels. Because it's grating the ears like a cheese grater on cheese. Oh yeah, by the way, you gotta, like, home in and, like... Which is annoying, because guess what? To destroy crates, you actually have to physically fly into them, which is not at all, like, very good. I think you can... No, you can't even tap it. It just automatically does what it does. How many boxes do we have? There's only 12 here, though, luckily, so that's not too bad, but there are six of these ships are not fun. Luckily though, it only takes three fully charged hits to destroy them, it seems. Let's go and destroy some more of these uh, crates here. I think we only need... yeah. Come on, game, really? This one is going to be another one that won't be too hard to time trial. So that's good. Oh, we destroyed that one. Good. And that should be the last box. Yes, it is. And we'll fire in the hole there. You're destroyed. And the last one is over here. I remember this being way more difficult as a kid for whatever reason, but I guess it's not. There we go. Another level done. I got hit. Did you hear that? They hit me off screen. What a game. The game is just hilarious. Booyah! Booyah! Uh, H2O no. Um, I think we'll do that in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye